Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this part is Tashan's mom coming out to speak of what kind of went on with her when she was married to Legion, aka Jerome McCoy, or Jerome McCoy, aka Legion. So this is Latoya, the first wife of Legion's. And she's going to be speaking on, you know, like I said, just touching a little bit on what she went through. But she said she don't want to talk about it anymore. And she, her heart goes out to all the women that, you know, he did like this. Room, because it's been brought to my attention that my ex-husband is out here in these streets disturbing individuals as he always has. And I have been brought into this. Let me first say, this chapter of my life is closed. I have moved on. It's been more than 10 years. I'm over it. I'm done. I don't, I'm good. Okay. But after I say this, let's just leave it alone. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm not going to address it anymore because I have nothing to do with this. This is my past life. The book is closed. Okay. So Legion, as y'all call him, is a despicable, nasty, and vile individual. I too, I fell for the trap over 10 years ago. Yes, he was charming and I was broken mentally. Okay? Understand, self-love was not here at all for me to actually love myself enough to understand that this is not love. He manipulated me, he loved bomb me. All of the, oh, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that and everything else. Yes, all of these things were said to me. Guess what? None of it happened. He's manipulative and he literally tried to ruin my life. He had family turn against me because he wanted to tell people lies about me and things of that nature. And unfortunately, he's very, very good at what he does. It took me many, many, many years to get past that. I have healed. And with the situation being brought back to me, it's like cutting me back open with a dagger because I was already healed up. The Band-Aid had been left. I've gotten married. I'm happy, been, been, been good, right? But this man is a pathological liar. He gave up all types of promises, but to the cars and houses, just like Risa. But guess what? None of that ever came to pass, right? So I just need for people to know that this situation was traumatic as hell for me. And then I hear about, because I've not watched any of the videos, because for what? Like, it's not my business anymore. I feel bad for anybody that he comes into contact with. And I will tell any female that sees his picture, don't ever, just let it go. Because he needs some serious mental help and he needs to be he needs to be evaluated and be locked away. So that's what I will say. And as far as like me not filing for divorce, I didn't file for divorce because I was afraid for my life. I didn't want to be served. I didn't want to. I didn't. If I, in order for me to file, I would have to show tell, tell him where exactly I was, and I didn't want him to know that. So no, I absolutely was not filing because I was afraid at the time. But guess what? It was it was ended before it even really started because. But at the same token, I still was very, very, very not mentally you know in love with myself so that's one of the things that really got me so i genuinely feel feel empathy for the women that have been down his path you know when all this stuff was going on with him and i there was no social media TikTok or anything like that but at the same token i just wanted to heal through my processes i didn't want to sit there and have to tell the whole world my business because i'm a very private person and i don't do trauma I will also say this. I did not hit Legion at all. I did not hit this man. He went to jail because he was impersonating a police officer, telling people that he was a detective of the police of the police department in Atlanta, Georgia. And that is why he went to jail. Also for stalking one of the guards that were where over where we lived at. That is why he went to jail. 
So he didn't go to jail because of any, or he didn't, we never went to court about me putting my hands on him. My son did, yes, interact with him. And my son, yes, he did put his hands on him because he threatened me for the last time. And it was enough was enough. As you go through life, you can either sit down and continue to take it, or you can get up and triumph and do what you need to do so that you can make your life better. And at that point, enough was enough for me. I was done. I was no longer going to be the victim because I'm not a victim. I'm not a doormat. You can't step on me. You can't do whatever you want to do to me and me take it. So I left. I will also say I need people to understand this is my life we're talking about, right? So this situation is triggering, but it's triggering me because it needs to be said. But it's one of those things where I was okay with not saying it. I was good. After this conversation, after I, I'm done saying my, my piece, if anybody wants to actually, you know, know how I healed from all of this, you're more than welcome to go, you know, click into my link on my, on my uh, Ms. Missouri page on Facebook. And you're more than welcome to listen to my show tonight because my health, my mind and body radio show is literally about healing. And my show tonight is about elevating your mental and I've been elevating my mental for years and I'm so fucking proud of myself. You know why? Because I've done a lot of work to get past all that shit that was going on in my past. So all that, Risa Tisa, I pray, honey, that you get the healing that you need, sweetie, because guess what? I, it took it took me time. And I pray that you get the healing that you need. And any anybody else, Vivian or anybody else, I pray that you guys get the healing that you need. Because this situation is not easy. But I hope that you guys really get the healing that you need. So that way, you guys can move forward in your life. Because it's possible to have, to have a love of your life after all of this trauma. It is very possible. So with that being said, you guys... I really hope that, you know, this will be on my end anyways. You guys can continue talking about it if you like, but I'm done because I'm not a victim. I got out and I moved on. I am not attached to this man. Don't want to be attached to this man. He's out of my life, been out of my life all of these years and don't want to have anything to do with him. So that's just that. If anybody wants to know how I triumphed through all of this, because I have to go into um, obviously more details, you can, you guys can go ahead and go onto my show and I'll go ahead and put the link on my Facebook. And I'll also put it here on TikTok for you guys to be able to see. Other than that, I'm signing off. This is your girl, Ms. Nazuri. And make sure y'all tune in tonight at my health, my mind and body radio show. Ahala. The first ex-wife has made it very clear that she doesn't want any...